time grows short, my friends. Even now, Belial's influence is spreading through Chaldea. But how will we find him? We won't have to. Magda and her coven will lead us straight to him. I'm not going anywhere until Uncle Deckard's been laid to rest. Yes, Cain deserves to be honored before we hunt down his killers. I have called for a caravan to guide us to the east. Speak to the caravan master when you are ready to go. We will see to Cain as we depart. My friend, shall we depart to Chaldeum? forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so, brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. Justice itself. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. You chose to be one of us. Sacrilege. Now that Tristram is safe, I travel to Chaldeum, the great city of the East. It has fallen before one of the last lords of hell, Belial. I mean to set the city free.
Here we are. Chaldeum. Jewel of the East. Uncle Deckard loved this place. He wouldn't now that it is under the spell of Belial, Lord of Lies. I can smell his stench on the air. We need to split up. You two search for Belial, while I hunt that witch, Magda. Cain's death will not go unanswered. God, where did these refugees come from? I am not a god. I am a Shira, commander of the Iron Wolves. We saved these refugees from Magda's coven, but even now wreaks havoc throughout the borderlands. It seems fate has brought us together. I hunt Magda. Do you know where she is? She's heading toward Alcarnas, but has blocked the road behind her. However, there is another way. Through the Kasim outpost. This gate leads to Alcanus. You will need to follow the long road over the canyon bridge and through the Kasim outpost. We haven't heard anything from the Iron Wolves in the desert. Magda will Make pay for her wickedness. Take heed, traveler. Cultists guard these desert roads, and they will slay any who pass. They are welcome to try. I have come here to kill them and their leader. Then you must not go alone. I shall accompany you. There are illusions out there, mirages to some, but I can see them for what they are, the Coven's foul magic. They will lead you to your death. I've dealt with these cultists before. Their traps are easily spotted, but my thanks for the warning. Is there anyone we have seen? Her skin is as soft and smooth as polished ivory, and her eyes, they... No, no reason. Stay back. They're in the lock. By my soul. very near to us. Are you certain? The road seems impassable. You should never have come. Demons were traced on your bones. I've missed killing these cultists. Come on then. How did you know about the ambush? I am an enchantress. The ways of magic and illusion are familiar to me. My name is Arena. I'm no stranger to magic myself, and yours is pretty unusual. What are you really doing out here? Well, I am also looking for someone. But here, let me clear the way for you. Captain, from behind! Protect the people! Iron Wolves! If not for you, the Lacuni would have eaten well this day. Should I expect more Lacuni on the road to Alcarnas? Even worse. Cultists are casting spells in two of their desert lairs to obscure the Black Canyon Bridge. Let us head north to the Howling Plateau. The cultist magic seems to be emanating from there. Another illusion here. The cultists tried to hide their footsteps. Their spells are weak and easily countered. 
If we follow these prints, we can find their lairs and halt the rituals. I will seek out any other traces of their magic. These indicate that a high-level cleric of the Zakarun named Akan began to sense the corruption that was eating away at the heart of his faith. He knew this corruption would eventually destroy his beloved church, and that he must take action. After much prayer, Akan hit upon the idea of an order of crusaders. Bodies of innocence are strewn across the sands. We must make them pay. We will. None of them will survive. I'm so good, I astound myself. I think it is time for you to know my true tale. I am not from Chaldeum. I learned these spells 1500 years ago. My sisters and I pledged our service to a man of great power. We called him the Prophet. He trained us and placed us in a magical slumber to awaken in this era. I am to prevent the Lords of Hell from invading. You're serious, aren't you? I read about a stasis spell like that once, but I never tried it. Come with me. It will be nice to have another mage along. It is always wonderful to see you. Now to find the Kasim outpost. You will find it to the north, though it is still some distance away. See that coming, did you? This is no illusion. The road is blocked. I must go through Kasim outpost to the west. I require a new skill. That was inspiring. A foulness hangs in the air. We must be getting closer.
Darth is a powerful foe over there. Need more arcane power. with some reluctance that I write on the seven lords of hell, for they are the greatest of the demons, and even whispering their names seems to poison the air around me. They are divided into the lesser evils, Belial, Asmodan, Juriel, and Andariel, and the prime evils, Mephisto, Baal, and Diablo. I need you to open the gate. I must reach Elkarnas. You must be mad. But if you're intent on rushing headlong to your death, talk to Captain David down in the command post. He's got the gate key. Here you are, delivered unto me as a sacrifice. A gift from Lord Belial. Sacrifice? Me? Belial set you here as bait to lure me away from his treachery in Chaldeum. No! He would never betray me! Strike him down! <laughs> Belial is the Lord of Lies, Magda. The truth is, you were dead the minute you killed Not Kit. a moment too soon. They plan to sacrifice us to Belial. Iron Wolves, take back the town! <laughs> Has Magda reached Elkanis? Yes. We've heard rumors of a horrible slaughter there. Then please open the gate. It is well past time for Magda to die. 